Grief-stricken parents were held back by sheriff's deputies at the Courtney Courthouse this morning as their son's accused killer made his first court appearance. 19-year-old James Denton was stabbed to death after a concert in the Comox Valley Saturday night. James was a graduate of Highland Secondary School. His accused killer is just 16 years old and is now facing a charge of first-degree murder. A News reporter Gord Kerbis has the story. A grieving mother confronts a group of teens outside the Courtney Courthouse. Just moments before, she was inside getting her first look at the 16-year-old accused of killing her 19-year-old son. Friends do their best to comfort and contain Brenda Denton. James was killed Saturday night as he and some friends were leaving the Rhythm on the Rock Music Festival. Crowds filled the streets after the concert ended, and that's when a confrontation began across from Vanier Secondary School. It was a nothing thing. It was a nothing thing. He was just wanting to go his way. They were out to go their way. And this, this kid just stuffed it. James's uncle says his nephew, a graduate of Highland Secondary School, was trying to break up a fight between others but got caught in the middle and was stabbed. He died in hospital a short time later. Police were quickly called to the Saturday night fight and arrested a 16-year-old Vanier student less than a kilometer away from where the fight took place. My kid didn't want to fight, but he died for it. He died. He didn't even have his hands up. He died sticking up for a friend. What kind of shit is this? Outside the courthouse, friends of the 16-year-old suspect, who's now facing first-degree murder charges, are standing by the accused. He's a good yeah, kid. I've known him my whole life. Yeah. Not his fault. Yeah, we know he's... One thing led to another, bad things happened. When I first found out, uh, I didn't even believe it. It just doesn't seem like him. This teen says he was at the concert when the fight broke out. His identity has to be concealed in the event he ends up being a witness later on. Some kids were staring at us, started lipping, and then the group of them just walked by, and they came back with their friends, started confronting us. So just one thing led to another, right? Inside the courtroom, the teen's appearance was brief. He'll be making a second court appearance on Thursday, but that will be via video, as he'll be in youth detention in Victoria. I want it dealt with in a very appropriate manner as quick as possible so we can have some closure. We've had it with little dweebs running around this town with knives because they ain't got enough balls to stand up and fight. Critical incident counselors through the local school district are offering their services to any students from either school having trouble coping with a tragic incident. Meanwhile, the Crown prosecutor says if convicted, he hopes the youth will be treated as an adult. In Courtney, Gord Kerbis, A News.